Well, Mark, I appreciate your efforts in uh, getting those ideas out over the multiple mediums. The generalization is that if we're physically in Phoenix, the laws of the state of Arizona apply to us. So from that standpoint, it's just a matter of asking for the evidence. I'm not making an allegation, I'm not making an argument, I'm making an assertion. So you won't respond to a question of evidence? Not in that manner, no. Not by you calling up and saying that there's no evidence and, and that sort of thing, no. No I'm, no, I'm asking for the evidence. I don't believe that there is, so my question has been, what evidence do you rely on to prove that the Constitution and laws do apply? Well, at this point of the game, we don't have to oh. respond to that sort of a question. Uh, looking at it from a, a, uh, a perspective that, you know, what we can prove, that they're just people, and challenging them on that, and they're, they're fictions. So you don't actually have any, any empirical proof that the Constitution Code apply, other than your say-so, correct? We've provided notices to Mr. and we have uh, met all... Uh, legal uh, guidelines oh. in order to do what we're doing. Do you have evidence so, to prove the code applies? Sir, I have nothing I can give to you today. Okay. And it's just challenging those, those assertions, They're recognizing that, that they are just assertions from people. And I encourage everyone, it's a very simple question. Get your common ground, just ask for the evidence. Have you ever received any evidence? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So far we've done it all over the U.S., Canada, Europe. We've replicated the results in Australia and New Zealand. More and more people are getting active and standing up for themselves, even if it ultimately they pay a 50 or $200 fine. There are more people standing up, and more people are talking about the non-aggression principle and challenging the rationale of the game. I take the work that I, things I've learned from Lysander Spooner. And, and those are not familiar, if you're a cop blocker and you haven't read Lysander Spooner, then you, you, you need to just, just search Lysander Spooner. No trees in the Constitution, no authority. That really put me on, on the path. I mean, I was, I was pretty much there from a, from a different, different perspective. I had come from it that, well, government was corrupted. And then reading Spooner, it was like, no, it, was, it wasn't corrupted, it was always corrupt. And, well, the Ventures of Legal Land, now government indicted, uh, you know, really extension, well, and the radio show is kind of an extension of all that. The radio show is, is more of uh, what we're doing during the week and reporting on that and giving people the opportunity and to call into the show. So if they're being attacked by a police officer or any other revenue thug, then they're able to call into the show. And, uh, you know, we go through you know, how to minimize the damage, basically get the, at the attack dropped. Because in England, twice this year, twice! Not only do we get tickets thrown out by confronting them just on one sole issue, show me the evidence your laws apply. Not only were these tickets thrown out, they got awarded costs against the prosecutors. Now, that happens in regular civil things, but in traffic? $1,200 American in one case. <laughs> I know. What, what message do you have if uh, someone watches this who's like a police employee or involved in the so-called justice system is what you do on the job consistent with your core belief and principles if you really if, if your a core belief is that it's wrong to initiate physical force it's wrong to use aggression to get your way uh, if that's it does that what you do on the job does that conflict with that at all I don't need to shame them I don't think that's going to get us anywhere but if I can bring him to realization of where he's at and how it contradicts. And I give them an alternative. I, I've had police officers five actually quit the force because of the show and the book, which is great. I know it's a drop in the bucket and there were 15, 20 more to replace them. Uh, but what I've recommended is they could take their experience as a police officer and make a lot more money as a personal security, you know, like a bodyguard. I've also suggested they can start their own security company. They can make a lot more money and they can actually be protecting people. Badges don't grant extra rights. So basically the principle that if I can't do it, or if you can't do it, then it, you know if it's immoral for me and you, then it's immoral just you know if you or I or someone else puts a puts a puts a badge on.